next up, the Steelers looking to get back in the win column. Manti, there's some stuff going on with the quarterback and the backup quarterback. We're not sure emotionally what that does to a team, but can they get the job done against the Raiders? Yeah, Jamie, there's also stuff going on opposite of, of T.J. Watt. You know, you have Nick Herbig out. Alex Highsmith's out, so how is that going to impact T.J. Watt? And I'm looking forward to that guy just continuing to dominate, but it's going to be a little bit more challenging with nobody on the other side. You know, this is going to be pretty cool, uh, you know, for the Raiders to really kind of, you know, rejuvenate what's going on over there. Like, they had a lot of hope coming in with the, you know, obviously with AP as the head coach. You know, they're out without Christian Wilkins right now, but Aiden O'Connell's taking over. Maybe his play can bring Devontae Adams back. Maybe. Just maybe. Mm, mm. It would be wild. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Peter. I'm gonna put you on the spot right now. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's see what kind of quick draw you can do. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, despite a three and two record, they have three wins. They have one player who has rushed for a touchdown this year in five games. You know who that player is? Is it Fryer Moose on like a handoff? <laughs> <laughs> who is it? It's Justin Fields. Yep. He's the only Steeler to rush for a touchdown, which seems flawed, and it seems some warts in their offense right now. We have to get things going. You have no time for you. I'm yeah, sorry. Real quick, Pickens talking at his locker. I didn't like any of the way that that went down. It mm. seems like there's already issues in Pittsburgh. Are they going to be a team that's a buyer? Are they looking at Devontae Adams? Are they looking at someone else? Pittsburgh's not going to win the AFC North with what they've got in-house right now. It's not going the right way. Let's see if they make a move. Unfortunately.